we consider the surgical repair of aneurysms one of the most definitive forms of treatment, meaning it's very unlikely that the aneurysm would recur or regrow. With traditional surgery or microsurgery, we make an incision in your scalp and uh, go inside the skull to identify the aneurysm and essentially clamp it off. The surgical treatment is done in the hospital under general anesthesia, which means you're completely asleep during the entire procedure. An incision will be made on your head and there may be a small visible scar. And then an opening or a window is made in the skull. The aneurysm is identified usually underneath the brain or between the lobes of the brain. And then using a powerful surgical microscope with a bright light on it, we identify the aneurysm and place a small metal spring clip on it to pinch it off. We confirm that the aneurysm is repaired during surgery by visual inspection under the microscope or with x-rays. Only after we're completely satisfied with the repair will we then proceed with closure. Most patients are fully awake after the procedure and usually able to be up in the bed or up to a chair that evening and able to have a light supper like broth or soup. The next morning we'll ask you to get out of bed and at least walk to the bathroom or a short distance in the hallway and most patients then would go home on the third day. After surgery, most uh, patients return within one to two weeks to have uh, sutures or staples removed. And then one final check at about the six weeks or, or eight week uh, period of time. Just like any other surgical procedure, there are some risks associated with this. Generally speaking, the risk is somewhere in the neighborhood about five to 10% of something substantially happening that might affect your quality of life in the short term or the long term. These things really revolve around stroke or some type of neurologic deficit. The likely things will be discussed specifically with you depending upon the location of the aneurysm. But keep in mind things like vision loss or paralysis or weakness or sensory disturbance or inability to walk are all possible things that could happen. Approximately 2-3% to of all surgical wounds get infected. That could require reoperation or antibiotics to clear this up after the surgery. Although this sounds like an awful lot to go through, the good news is that once you make the journey through this hospitalization and treatment course that the aneurysm will be repaired. There will be a low risk or no risk of having the aneurysm hemorrhage and you can move forward with your life knowing that the aneurysm has been definitively treated. Thank you.